Charlie. I'm not much with words. Well, I'm not much of an athlete. I've been thinking a lot about our time together. Oh, really? I'm not a poet. How well I know it. I've never been a raver. But when I look at you, I rave a bit. It's true. You're the cream in my coffee. You're the salt in my stew. You will always be my necessity. I'd be lost without you. You're the starch in my coffee. Chapter 3. The Common Room. Three years have passed without event. The three friends are sat in the common room with an unexplained Cruikshanks and an unexplained Pickwitchian. For some unexplained reason, Scabbers is not present. Cruikshanks is a ginger wig. That's Catherine Parker where to get bees. And Pickwitchian is a tennis ball covered with fake feathers. In another unexplained conundrum, the unexplained Quirrell's garlic stuffed turban smolders in the unexplained fireplace. Whilst Hermione writes an unexplained Lockhart, an unexplained Get Well Soon card, a mantelpiece Polaroid, also unexplained, so a memorandum of an unexplained Professor Lupin. Lupin? Who's that? I haven't the foggiest proposal. Nor have I, and I've just been rereading Hogwarts A History. Oh, shut up, you lousy fictional character! I've just been editing the new edition of Boob is my washpot. Oh, jolly good. Carry on, then. First taste. That settled her, Hash. Harry, Hermione, and Ron are chatting. For some reason, McGonagall is stood in the background with a tartan dressing gown, tutting resolutely. There's a pink radio on, singing the highly popular song, Does Anybody Know That Callum Bums? Unceremoniously replaced due to a pending copyright issue. Due to popular demand, the first three melodramatic adventures have been cut out. Woo! Yay! Silence! From here on, everything will be utterly unexplained, and nothing will follow in sequence. Ah, it's so good to be back, even though it has been a very uneventful three years. Amen to that. It is. I wonder what she was doing there. Oh well, hello. -ho. Let's turn off that incessant racket for a man can say Sherbet Lemon. Points at radio. No! 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 Stop it! Stop it! No! No! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! No! No! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! Right then. I've come to inform you that the dueling club shall take place tonight. Participation is mandatory. <coughs> McGonagall disappears with a considerable crack. Wait a minute. You can't port lies in Hogwarts. Well, McGonagall just did. But, I mean, say, I've been re-re-reading Hogwarts history and... What did you just see? Well... Did McGonagall just portalize? Or do I have to get the pepper spray? Oh, don't start again. Fall into line, chaps. We've got to go to dueling club. Participation is mandatory, remember? <laughs> We should really fix that window, you know. Crookshanks might blow away. Too late. And there he goes, whizzing round the North Tower like nobody's business, being struck by lightning like nobody cares. Hey! 